consultant and professor Rohit Salve and in this video we will discuss very important components in grammars also in linguistic is a syntax but firstly we will discuss what is linguistics the word linguistic has been derived from two latin words lingua and istic lingua means tongue and istic means knowledge we can say that linguistic is a systematic study of language but it is the study not of one particular language but of human language in general linguistic is a scientific study of system principle underlying human languages it studies language as a universal and recognizable parts of human behavior one who study language is a linguist the job of linguist is to investigate how people speak and use language in a given speech community at a given time also concerned with identifying and describing the units and the patterns of the sound of systems and the words and morphemes and the phrases and the sentences in fact the structure of the language thus the linguistic is the study of language as means of human communication Phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, these are the important components in English grammar or linguistics. And in this video, we will see the syntax part of grammar or linguistics. So, syntax. Syntax is traditionally defined as the branch of linguistics which studies the structure of the sentence, is our ability to use a language. One of the most remarkable aspect of human language is our ability to build up larger unit from a smaller components. Thus we get words from sound and sentence from the words etc. When we say that syntax studies the structure of the sentence, we have already assumed that all sentences have a structure. We studies the structure of the sentence says in a syntax, we both study the parts from which sentence are built and second the way in which parts of the sentence are arranged or organized we will focus on the both this aspect of the essential structure in this chapter let us begin with an example first example the last batsman scored the only century in a otherwise forgettable match that this sentence is made up of words it is not remarkable information we can understand this if we were to just jumble up the words to get something like the sentence second example batsman otherwise scored match the the and in unforgettables only last century this sentence in a linguistic to mark of the ungrammatical sentence the above sentence is a clearly ungrammatical and almost impossible to understand therefore knowing the structure of the sentence in language means that we have to know the order in which a words appear in a sentence number of sentence in a language is infinite we do not have rules for each sentence separately but all sentences are forms from the general set of rule if you look at the sentence again while the kind of jumbling as we saw in the sentences the sentence absolutely non-sensual there are a certain group of the words this grouping of the words into what are called phrases is an important aspect of the organization or the structure of the sentence phrase in a sentence group of words having meanings taken together such a group of word having own meaning known as a phrase phrase is a collection of words there are many different types of phrase used in a sentence types of phrases are noun phrase verb phrase adjective phrase adverb phrase and prepositional phrase so we will discuss noun phrase a noun phrase includes noun person place things names in noun phrase noun is the head words for example 
a great english teacher teacher is noun here then verb phrase the verb phrase can refer to the whole sentence and just the verb to express an action for example lovely colorful birds fly over my house every morning here the bird is a noun fly is a verb and lovely colorful is a modifier then adjective phrase adjective phrase giving extra information about the noun adjective phrase is a group of words that function like an adjective in a sentence and means a grammatically related to the noun for example he is a wearing a nice red shirt nice red is a adjective here and shirt is noun then adverb phrase adverb phrase is a group of words that function is an adverb in the sentence adverb means giving extra information about the verb for example she always drives with a care drives is a verb and with a care is a adverb phrase here then prepositional phrase preposition is a head preposition can function as an adjective adverb and noun till now we have only been discussing the structure of the parts of the sentence but not the structure of the whole sentence or the clause so clauses clauses means the structure of the whole sentence a clause is a unit of language which consists of noun phrase and verb phrase that is if you put noun phrase and verb phrase together that is called as a clauses for example the train leaves in the afternoon uh, the train is the noun phrase and leaves is the verb phrase this sentence or this clause would look diagrammatically as follows the train leaves in the uh, afternoon the train is the noun phrase the is the determiner train is a noun leaves is the verb uh, in is the prepositions then the is the determiner and afternoon is the noun then next sentence rahim has lost his pen for example in english sentence can also have auxiliary verbs we revise about the rules to include them as well as here the rahim has lost his pen rahim is a noun has is a auxiliary verb lost is a verb his is a determiner and pain is a noun according to subject and object there are two parts of clause subject clause and object clause so subject clause the noun noun phrase and noun clause comes before the verbs and answer the question who and what it's called as a subject clause for example Johnny loves Mary this sentence gives answer the question who who loves Mary answer is Johnny this is a subject clause then object clause the noun noun phrase or noun clause is to be the object and the object of the verb usually answer the question who what and whom but the form whom is no more used widely in english for example Kusum is writing a letter. This sentence gives answer the question who and what. Who is writing a letter? Answer is Kusum. What things do Kusums? Answer is Kusum is writing a letter. As we said earlier, not all verbs need object or allow object. So verbs have three types: transitive verbs, intransitive verbs, and ditransitive verbs. So first. transitive verbs the verbs that allow them need them to complete their meanings such verbs are known as a transitive verb for example some verb likes cry sleep stand etc then next intransitive verb the verbs do not need object and do not allow any object such verbs are known as intransitive verbs for example vijay cried 
Salim is sleeping. You cannot add any object to this clause or to this sentence. Then last one is ditransitive verb. While some verbs are transitive and some verbs are intransitive, that is, these verbs require and allow two object, one called direct object and other called indirect object. For example, the waiter handed me the bill. You will see that object can be tested using our question words who and what. What did the waiter hand me? Answer is the bill. Who did the waiter hand the bill? Answer is me. Then according to the complement and adverbial, there are two parts of clause. Complement clause and adverbial clause. So firstly we will discuss complement clause. Complement clause means such a complement element present in the sentence known as a complement clause. For example, she is looking hot. There are two subparts of the complement clause. First one is subject complement and second one is object complement. So subject complement. Subject complement tells us more about the subject. For example, Anil is singing. In this sentence, Anil is a subject. Then object complement. Object complement tells us more about the object. For example, he loves football. In this sentence, football is object. Then adverbial clause. Adverbial clause means word or the phrases functioning like adverb. It is also part of clause that are optional word or group of words express a relation of place, time, manners and the cause. For example, he found books on the table. Here in this sentence, subject is he, verb is found, object is book, on the table shows the place that is mean by adverbial and we know that adverbial shows a relation of time place manners and the cause now we will discuss the types of sentence and its structural classification a sentence may contain one clause or more than one clause sentence are classified into three types simple sentence compound sentence and complex sentence so first we will discuss simple sentence simple sentence only one subject and the verb is called as a simple sentence for example ramesh laugh in this sentence ramesh is a subject and laugh is a verb second example i am tired here in this sentence i am is a subject and tired is a verb then compound sentence compound sentence two independent clause or two independent sentence joined by a conjunction known as a compound sentence and the conjunction is and but for so it etc for example i do not like apple but my brothers like it in this sentence but is a conjunction the next example he failed two times so he left the course in this sentence so is a conjunction then last one is a complex sentence a sentence in which consist of two or more independent sentence and at least one sentence join subordinating conjunction called as a complex sentence sub conjunctions is a although since when because unless etc for example i did not go because it was rainy in this sentence because is a sub conjunction next example she has been learning dancing since her childhood in this sentence since is a sub conjunction word after structural classification of sentence we will discuss the functional classification of sentence classifying sentence is according to their function in a classification sentence are functionally classified as affirmative sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence wh type question sentence s no type question sentence tag question type sentence 
negative sentence etc so we will discuss all types of sentence one by one so first affirmative sentence in affirmative sentence sentence that speak positive in this sentence negative words no not never are not used for example ram is coming second example rohit is studying then next one type sentence is negative sentence in negative sentence sentence speak negatively in this sentence negative words are used for example ram is not coming second example vanita is not here then next type of sentence is imperative sentence in imperative sentence use command and order to a person for example note down the point second example go down then next type of sentence interrogative sentence or wh type question sentence in this sentence used to ask the question and ends with the question marks this sentence start with who what which when where etc words for example what is your name next example where are you going then next type of sentence is yes no type question sentence in this sentence there are a question which require an affirmative or negative answer for example is amol in nashik do you like that then next type of sentence is tag question sentence tag question sentence short question attached to a statement meaning different from yes no or wh type question sentence for example the boys are your friend aren't they next example he knows you doesn't he in this way we will finish the syntax is very important parts of linguistics if you like my video please like it share it and do not forget to subscribe youtube channel for upcoming video or new update thank you